told the New York Times Magazine before Olympic training camp opened in an interview that wasn't published until about five days ago. I quote, you look at the talent that the U.S. has, but there's equal talent on other teams. And the talent that's on the U.S. team, you also got to understand most of those guys are older. The LeBron now is not the LeBron that was a couple of years ago. So it's a big difference. Everybody would also tell you, and you can see for yourself, the athletic LeBron, dominant that he was a couple of years ago, is not the same that he is now. I think people get fooled by the names on paper, but those names have been built throughout their career, and now they're older. They're not what they used to be. So Kevin Durant responded yesterday, of course we're older and we all have mileage on our bodies. We figure out ways to be effective, just as Joe has as he's gone through injuries. Okay, Paul, if you were Embiid's teammate, how would you take what he said about having so many aging teammates? If I, if I was in the locker room right now as LeBron or KD or Steph, I'd be like, Joe, you're only 30 years old, but you look like you are age. <laughs> or like, older. Or no, older. seriously. The way you move? No, he does. No, he does, he right? He moves like he's 40. No, no, yeah. seriously. I'll be like, and, and jokingly, just like he's joking yeah, about, yeah, about them. But yeah. you understand, LeBron, right now, at this age, is probably the best athlete outside of anybody on two Team USA in the Olympics. Like, still. Like, did you see the first dunk he had? Yeah, I ain't got like, to I'm me. trying to think around the Olympics. Is there anybody on Canada, anybody on Serbia, anybody doing that same dunk? He's probably still the best athlete in the Olympics outside the Team USA. So I, I get it. You know, Joel Embiid, MVP, he pretty much like, man, when are these guys going to fall off? Man, you got you the old guys. You're not the same. No, you're not the same. He's like, you know, it's time. For, he pretty much saying in so many words, it's time for y'all to move over and let us young cats come in and take mm -hmm. over, it, it sound like. But it's just that these old guys is still sustaining the level of greatness. It's just amazing when you see Curry, Kevin Durant, LeBron still sustaining what they're doing. And so they haven't moved over to allow MB to be the guy now. And, and it's just like probably frustrating for them. You're like, yeah, they're old. Hey, MB. Hopefully you're still looking as good as them when you're that age, because <laughs> you know those injuries pile up and they take years off them. It looked like MB's injuries taking years yeah, off of them. You see agreed. him laboring around, yeah. and he's only 30 years old. And you know I'm not I'm not really sure he even knows what he's saying. That's possible too. Yeah, I think yeah. he's kind of yeah, jokingly think... saying it. I don't no, think he's he serious. Might, he might, even if he's jokingly saying it, I don't think he registers what he's saying. Like he he just. He likes to have fun and just talking, yeah, so he yeah. doesn't understand that LeBron averaged 28 points this year in the regular season mm -hmm. in the NBA. So when you say he's not the same as he was a couple years ago, yeah. well, my eyes didn't play tricks on me then, Skip, because I see him as he looked the same to me. I mean, what else is, what's, what's different? Okay, yeah. maybe he had a few more turnovers. Maybe his defense isn't as tight. No. But he looks the same to me. I, I think what he kind of meant now when you look at it, it's not as bigger than numbers. It's more they, like, their impact on winning. You know, the numbers is always going to be there because they understand. Steph Curry just won a championship two years ago, man. Yeah, but like or two seasons year, ago, or whatever it was. Year, it's been a couple, but their impact on winning now is it the same on how it was? Their aura Which isn't the same <laughs> as it was before. And rightfully so, when you get older, I mean, yeah, they're, they have one foot out the door. I mean, LeBron could retire earlier after this year. Curry, you know, he could retire in the next couple years. Yeah, but what does that you know? have to do? What does that have to do with what he's talking about? He, he just he said you're not who you are yesterday. And that's everybody who is. Of course. That's why KD said they go through things from an injury standpoint, just like he's going through things yeah. from an injury standpoint. But what caught me the most was the names on the back of the jerseys can fool you. <laughs> well, yeah, but these dudes aren't th this isn't Larry Bird in 92, where he couldn't play in the Olympics, and he sat down with a heat pack on his back the entire time. Yeah. These dudes could actually still, still play. play. Yeah. They're still relevant in the NBA today, where Larry Bird was like, it was over with, it was done. It was, you know, they just, him and Magic did it for, you know, the giggles, so to speak, or whatever. They did. This, These dudes still got three and four years to play in the NBA. They do. So I don't, I just don't think he really, I don't think he really knew what he was saying. Okay.
Joel is getting to the point of he just talking too much. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> right? Just talking. But every time he's opened his mouth lately on these podcasts that we have discussed, every quote that comes out of his mouth is, oh, woe am I. Oh, poor pitiful me. And, and he's constantly trying to reduce pressure and expectation on himself because the first one we talked about was about the Celtics. No, they're, they're a super team. If I go five for 20, we get blown out. I, I don't have as much help. Jason can get away with a bad night because he's got way more help than I have. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, oh, poor pitiful me. And then yesterday we talked about, he said, I'm the most hated man in the league. Well, no, no, he's not. But he's trying to turn himself into more of a sympathetic figure. And then, to me, <laughs> what this reads like is, because he knows a lot of people will look at him at only 30 as the best player on Team USA, and we all agree, when he's right, when he's in shape, best player he's in the, the league. best player in the league. Yeah. Okay? So he's tamping down expectations. He's undercutting by saying, well, I I'm playing with a bunch of old dudes. D don't look at me because I can only do so much here. That's how this reads to me because they're all kind of over the hill. That They got big names, but they don't have big games anymore like they used to. So don't look at me. Don't don't completely blame me if this goes south. You know, if no, they won't blame him. You you're not the guy that's the face of Team USA. You know, you kind of like secondary is. When if it goes about, south, it's going to LeBron. Yeah, it's going to LeBron. It, it would. Like this is, yeah, this is I would this agree. Is going to LeBron at this point. Steph it would. And KD. Yeah. There ain't no pressure on him, B, if they don't win. Yeah. I, I think Steph would take some heat. Steph would take uh, the three and, that Paul and, mentioned. And you know who would take the, the most. Would LeBron, be the, yeah, the coach. Oh, yeah. The coach. Well, Steve Kerr yeah, would take right. a lot. Okay. But you, you're exactly right. Okay, so we all agree. Joel's the best player when he's right. When he's right. Yeah. But, but nobody is saying he's the driving force of Team USA, no. right? No. Did, nobody is saying we go as he goes, right? No. Because he hadn't I mean, shown you any of that. that. Anthony Davis is more of a that is correct. force right now. Yeah. But we all know when the regular season started how Joel and B for Philadelphia, Philadelphia yeah. Joel, yeah. Is is one of them guys, if not the well, guy. He made the losing. case he was already on his way to winning. He was gonna win second MVP? MVP last year if he didn't get hurt. Okay. Well, that's how good he is. That's how good he is. And and again, he could have chosen to play for Cameroon or France or the US. But because he said his son was born in the United States of America, I'm going to play for the U.S. of A. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Now, there's really no expectation on him, so I, I don't know, right? No, uh, yeah. nah, no expectation on him, B. I mean, he's out there. It looks like he's not all the way in game shape. He's still having knee issues for the simple fact he's wearing that huge sure. brace yeah. on his knee. Yep. You know, he's there to be a part of something. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And he could be back in four years and, and be like the guy. He could. You, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Him, Taylor, Although he, and he's Edwards. aging in dog years, right? Yeah, he is aging in dog years. Yeah. He four, can't afford no years. more injuries. See, yeah. it's tough on big men, Skip. Yep. Because it's tough on them to get in, in the basketball shape. They don't usually play in pickup games in the summer. They don't no. usually do a lot of uh, running on the treadmill. So <laughs> they got to find other ways to get in game shape. And a lot of times, big guys get in shape when they get to camp. And so, you know, this is going to be rough on him as he ages, as he continues to deal with injuries. And I, 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 just, I just hope, you know, based on his talent and the way he doesn't really need his athleticism, that he can stay injury free and continue to play at a high level for a number of years. Okay, yet he does start, right? Yeah, he starts. And, and he starts because Steve Kerr is saying, you're the guy, right? Like, he could start Anthony Davis, but he doesn't. I mean, going into this, if you had to choose, think about this. Before the Olympics started, you said, who you taking, Embiid or Anthony Davis? You're going to say, I'm taking Embiid. Yeah, I'm taking Embiid. 100%. Taking Embiid. Yeah. 100%. Play the five, shit. Would you, would you swap AD right now for Joel Embiid? In the regular season? Mm-hmm. 100%.